Now, he ran back in the house where we was at, and he telling us, like, hey, somebody just ran into my car. We need to go get them. You feel me? So, <laughs> me and my brother, we like, all right, bet. We hop in the rental car, and uh, we basically chase the truck down. We chasing the truck down Covington Highway all the way to Memorial Drive or something. I'm talking about we on a high-speed chase. We not knowing who, who this is. You feel me? What's moving, everybody? Hey, so look. Check it out, right? I got a quick little story about Young Mizey, man. And if you knew Young Mizey, then you already know what's up, man. You feel me? If you didn't know Young Mizey, he was a Atlanta rapper, and he was really known for a whole bunch of controversy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of controversy. But um, rest in peace to Young Mizey, man. We lost him a couple years ago. You feel me? Condolences to his family and all that. But we finna just go ahead and dive in. But look, check it out, though. Before we dive in, of course, I just want to let everybody know I appreciate y'all for tapping in, as always. You know what I'm saying? Y'all y'all seem to be always showing up. You know what I'm saying? So I love y'all for life. You feel me? I'm going to keep it coming. But check it out, right? Young Mizey, dog. Y'all see the caption. Um, If y'all don't know... Me and Young Mozzie, we was real cool, you feel me? We got like 20 songs, you know what I'm saying? Might, might be more than that. We probably got two mixtapes full of songs, you feel me? Uh, he used to call me to the studio all the time, late at night. Honey game, man, wildlife shit, for real. Yeah, he lives a wildlife. He don't play with anybody in the room. Feel me, and we'll record all the way to the next day for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? He would like that. You know, he'll have a whole bunch of drugs in the studio for the most part. You know what I'm saying? And he'll just be getting geeked up and just create music. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't nothing but a smoker, so you know, he used to get me high as hell. But check it right. Um, one day he called me and he he asked me, he like, do do I got a tattoo artist? You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, yeah, you know, I just so happened to know a guy, you feel me, that was um, close, you know, to people that I was connected with. So uh, I called him up. He like, he like, all right, bet, bring him to the spot, you know. And if you know Young Mizey, bro, you know you got to be real cool with him in order for him to just let you come to his house. You know what I'm saying? He stayed in the loft somewhere in Buckhead, you know what I mean? Because he had a whole bunch of BS going on, like... Mozzie was real hot like that, you feel me? Ain't no telling who was who he was beefing with or anything like that. You know, if you know, you know. But check it, right? Uh, he told me to bring over the tattoo artist. I called him up. And, of course, the artist like, yeah, you know, this is an opportunity for him. You feel me? It's a Mozzie was a hot artist at the time. You know, the controversy was lit. You know what I'm saying? It was just a good opportunity for any tattoo artist at that time. You feel me? So... <laughs> So I called the tattoo artist and he like, I right, bet he was over there ASAP. You know what I'm saying? So um, he rolled up in his little rental car and we took him to the spot. We pulled up on Mozzie. You know, everything seemed cool. You know, he did the tattoos. Um, I ain't even checked to see what kind of tattoos he did, but apparently they weren't that big. You know what I mean? Because we ain't, we ain't stayed nothing for about a couple hours. You feel me? So, um, you know, everything was good, right? So, <laughs> we end up leaving, and as we leaving, we getting, we getting phone calls, like, Mozzie blowing me up, blowing me up, blowing my brother up, you know, just blowing us up. So, uh, we pick up the phone, I think my brother picked up the phone first, and uh, we put him on speakerphone, and he was like, hey, where the tattoo artist at? So, we like, he right here. He like, let me speak to him. So, um... Uh, we trying to get a tattoo artist the phone, and the tattoo artist acting real shaky. You know, he was acting real scared or something, you know? So, um, we give him the phone, and, you know, he kind of ducked down in the seat and wouldn't really let us hear the conversation. So, uh, he hung up the phone. Mozzie blew us up again. He calling, calling, calling. So, we, we pick up the phone, you know what I'm saying? And, um... When we answer the phone, he like, hey, send me y'all address. 
So we like, all right, cool. We ain't thinking nothing of it. You know what I mean? We finna head back to the house anyway. You know what I'm saying? We we thinking he finna come over and kick it for a second. You know what I mean? Or or whatever. You know? So um, we get to the spot. Me, my brother, and the tattoo artist. We finally get to the spot. We jump out the rental car. We go inside the apartment. Now, mind you, we at the time we had an apartment off Covington Highway, Indicator. So. We go into the apartments and the tattoo artist double back. As we go into the apartments, the tattoo artist double back because he like um he left his tattoo equipment in, inside the car. So we like, all right, bet, you know, go handle that. So uh as he's going back down the steps uh from the apartment, he sees somebody running in his car. He sees somebody jump out the truck and run in his car. Now, when he, when the guy ran in his car, he took all of his equipment, jumped in the truck, and sped off. Now, he ran back in the house where we was at, and he telling us, like, hey, somebody just ran into my car. We need to go get him. You feel me? So, <laughs> me and my brother, we like, all right, bet. We hop in the rental car, and uh, we basically chase the truck down. We chasing the truck down Covington Highway. All the way to Memorial Drive or something. I'm talking about we on a high speed chase. We not knowing who who this is. You feel me? So we end up in a complex that we familiar with, right? And um, the truck stops at an apartment that we familiar with. It was some dope boys, some some local dope boys that we all you know knew. So uh, when the truck stopped, Mozzie hop out the truck. Mozzie hop out the truck. So we. So we looking like what? Like, like we we been chasing Mozzie this whole time, you know? So, so we hop out the car. First thing we do is we say, bro, what's up? Like, what you got going on? You feel me? We talking to Mozzie. Me and my brother, we talking to Mozzie. Now, mind you, the uh tattoo artist is ducked down in his seat. He is not trying to get out the car for whatever reason, you know? And we ain't really peeped this until maybe about 10, 15 minutes later. So um, we hop out the car and Mozzie like, hey, where the tattoo artist at? So we like, he in the car. He like, well, tell him to get out. Tell him to come holler at me. Tell him to come holler at me. Mind you, now he done pulled up to the trap. It's about four or five other people outside now. You know what I'm saying? The the other dope boys that stayed in the apartment, they done popped out. And, you know, it's them four, Mozzie, and now me and my brother. You know, we chopping it up with Mozzie and he telling, he telling us, to tell the tattoo artist to get out the car and come holler at him. So um, I go back to the car and I'm like, hey, bro, they want to holler at you. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what you got going on. You feel me? But um, it, something ain't right. You feel me? So, uh, and I know Mozzie, you know, sometimes he could trip, but for the most part, like, he be justified, you know, in certain ways. You know, sometimes he'll get on this, on this drug thing and, and 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 just flip out like get bipolar but for the most part it be it be for reason you know <laughs> so so uh i go to the car and and the tattoo artist like nah bro nah 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 i ain't getting out i ain't getting out so i'm like what what you got going on fool you know what i'm saying so i walk back to my and i'm like hey bro he he ain't trying to get out the car what what, what happened you feel me so apparently the tattoo artist took more money than he was supposed to. Now, mind you, we just went to Mozzie's house, bro. This is where his girl lay, lay her head at and, and all that. You feel me? So it's like to bring somebody there and they stealing money was wild. You know what I mean? Like, And we thought we knew the tattoo artist. We didn't know him like that, but we thought we knew him well enough that he wasn't going to do nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, and, and then the way he acting, it got to be real. So... I'm like, hey, bro, get, come on, let's get out the car, bro. I go back to the car. I'm like, hey, bro, come get out the car. Come holler at this man, bro. You feel me? Because he not finna give you your stuff. Mind you, he took the man's camera. He took the man's computer and whatever else. And, and, and his, uh, I mean, not his camera. He took the man's tattoo gun He and he took his computer and whatever else he had in that bag, right? So I'm telling buddy, I'm like, um. Hey, bro, he not finna give you your stuff back until you come holler at him. You feel me? And and at this point, I'm feeling disrespected because why would you do that on our time? You know what I'm saying? We just gave you an opportunity 
and you chose to 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 try to scam somebody, you know? So um he like, nah, bro, I I I ain't getting out the car. You feel me? I made enough money to to buy all new stuff anyway. So we like, what? When he said that, we like, ah man, like, I know, I know you didn't I the tattoo didn't take that long. You feel me? So I know he didn't pay you that much. You know what I'm saying? So you had to have did some kind of little scam to get off with the rest of the money. Cause how you got enough money to pay for a new MacBook and a new tattoo set and whatever else was in that bag. So he like, nah, I ain't getting out the car. So uh, I'm like, hey bro, come on, get out the car. You feel me? At this at this point in time, I'm I'm being a little aggressive. So this guy, the tattoo artist, proceeds to put the car in drive, mash the gas, and skeet off. Straight up, like the car door almost hit me and everything. You feel me? So um at this point, I'm like, wow, you know what I mean? Like and then on top of that, he went in a direction where it was no outlet. It was no outlet in the complex. You could only go backwards. You feel me? He went in a way where it was just a dead end. So, But he sped out. But it did 0 to 60 seconds in about 5 seconds. You know what I mean? 0 to 60 miles in about 5 seconds. You feel me? So I'm like, ah, man, that's crazy. You know? So um, I'm looking at Mozzie. And Mozzie, like, see what I'm saying? So I'm like, all right, bet. I'm finna go chase him down, you know, to the end of the complex, see where he went. You feel me? So I go, me and my brother, we run to the end of the complex, you know, because I know he didn't he didn't circle back around. You know, it's no outlet in the complex. So you got to be at the end of the complex. You got to be in the cul-de-sac. So we run down to the cul-de-sac, and the car is just there with the door open. The door open. The keys still in the car and everything. Mind you, this is a rental car. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this guy done jumped out the car, then ran through some cut, and then left the car running. You feel me? With the door open in the cul-de-sac in the hood somewhere. So we like, wow, that's crazy. You know what I mean? This guy really just trying to run off. You feel me? So uh, we run back up to the uh to where Mozzie them met, and we like, bro, buddy just dipped off. You know what I'm saying? We don't know where he at. You know, you feel me? So he like, well, he ain't getting none of his stuff until he come holler at me. Now, knowing Mozzie, I don't know what he wanted to holler at him about. He probably was going to slap him up. You know what I'm saying? Nine times out of ten. Justifiably, because why would you do that? You get what I'm saying? So, <laughs> so uh, we posted. We posted with Mozzie at this point. Me and my brother, we posted um, at the apartments. And we calling Buddy phone. We calling Buddy phone. And Buddy like, man, look, I'm scared. I'm not coming back up there. You know what I'm saying? Tell him he can keep everything. It's even. So we like, wow. You know what I'm saying? This is crazy. You feel me? This man just pulled up on you, ran off with all your stuff, and... You ain't even trying to face him face to face. You feel me? I don't even know why you tried to trick us into believing that somebody was like you was innocent. Like we we chasing somebody and we don't even know who we chasing for real. We thinking somebody just ran off with your stuff, dog. And we we not even knowing that you done scammed this man out of however much money. It had to be thousands. You know what I'm saying? Because a MacBook ain't cheap. You feel me? So. We just sat there. We sat there for some hours. You know what I'm saying? We kept calling. We trying to talk him into coming back. He like, nah, he ain't coming back. You feel me? So, um, push kind of sure. We like, all right, Mozzie, listen. Um, do what you do. You know what I'm saying? Keep his stuff. If he don't want to pull it back up, sell it. You feel me? Like, we ain't, we ain't tripping. You know, um. so he like, all right, bet. You know, it's our love. You know, we, we had a... A, a good relationship so he knew anything that that we did or anything it wasn't on if if we brought danger his way it wasn't on purpose you know what i'm saying and and i forever rock with mozzy for that you know what i mean because we were that close you know <laughs> even with him being drugged up or whatever you know what i'm saying <laughs> straight up so uh we like i right, bet you know just sell everything if you know if he don't pop back up 
you know. So he like, all right, bet. So we left the um, we left the apartments. We went back to the house and buddy call us. Buddy call us and he like, man, I'm finna head back home. I think he stayed in Baltimore or in Maryland or something like that. He like, I'm finna get back home. Mind you, I don't know what he finna do with the rental car. I don't know what happened to the rental car. I don't know if he ever went to go get it. You know, because uh, he was so, like I told you, he was so scared. He jumped out the rental car and just left it there. Just left it there in the complex. You feel me? Like, he didn't want to ride back past Mozzie them. You feel me? So, um, I'm like, all right, fool, like. You ain't you 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 ain't good around her no more. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't I don't know what you got going on. You know what I'm saying? You you out here trying to scam folks, you know what I mean? Then you talking about you finna skip town. Like it really got that crazy in a matter of a couple hours. You know what I'm saying? So uh man, after that he like, all right, cool, you know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna buy everything I got. Um, everything I lost, I'm going to just buy it back. And he talking to us like we friends or something, you know, telling us what he going to do. And he like, yeah, we just, I'm just going to buy everything back, the computer, the tattoo equipment, you know, and I'm just going to go back to my hometown. So I'm like, all right, that's, that's probably what you better do, fool. You know, so, <laughs> so, uh, more of the story, man, we ain't never hear from fool again, dog. We ain't never hear from him again. And, um. We end up going to the studio with Mozzie that night. We end up going back to the studio with Mozzie that night. Because I remember I told you, we we used to do music together. We we recorded like two mixtapes together. You feel me? So that ain't really stop our grind, you know. We went back to the studio that night. And shoot, we just smoked the blunt and laughed about it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mozzie still had his computer. He probably sold the equipment. Or he either, he either sold that equipment or he was getting tattooed with it that night. You know what I'm saying? That was the type of guy Mozzie was. You know what I mean? He was uh, he was slick savage like that. You know what I mean? He ain't really he ain't really care too much. If it, 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 them couple thousand dollars wasn't really much, you know, cause he was, you know, he was getting paid. We was all getting paid at that time. You know, that's why I was like, damn, like, like how we get caught up bringing this roach around. You feel me? But yeah, we got back. We we just went to the studio, recorded another check. You know, we let it out, and um, that was it. You know what I'm saying? We ain't never talk about it again. You feel me? Buddy ain't never come around again. We wasn't allowing Shout it around again. If even if he did come around and he was a good tattoo artist, that's the crazy part about it. But yeah, that was that was it, man. We um we mended it, you know what I'm saying? Mozzie knew we ain't have nothing to do with it. And we just continued our relationship. But um, hey, shout out to young Mozzie. You know, condolences to his family. You know what I'm saying? If y'all want to hear more stories about Young Mozzie, because he was a wild guy. For real, for real. And we was around a lot for that. It's <laughs> crazy. Hey, man, I'm probably going to uh, link one of the one of his favorite songs that we did in the comments. You know what I'm saying? Y'all go check that out. But, um, hey, until next time, y'all like, share, subscribe. 100.